Hey guys, I was sitting in my truck like I normally do, uh, working like a police officer does it right, where they have time in between calls or something and they do a little paperwork in their, in their truck. That's me too. So I got an email that said that we had potentially damaged some property at a customer's house. And let's go through that real quick and see what we do about it. So here's the email I got. Let's click on the form and view what the damages were, right? So scroll down to the bottom. Here's the information. Looks like the weed whacker has damaged the boards. Okay, so let's see. All right, so a little discoloration here, right? All these lines I guess she's talking about. Yeah, right off the right off the bat on its face, it looks just like weathering, maybe even some paint. It doesn't look like damage from a weed eater right away because that's on the top of the deck. It's not like at the bottom of a fence or something like that. So I'm guessing that there it's just discoloration from weathering or something like that. I don't know. I'll have to go in person and check this one out because I can't tell right right off just from looking at the pictures, right? So, here's the other one again. Well, let's get this show on the road, as they say it, and go check it out. Hopefully the customer's there and I can talk to her. Let's see. Alright, well after the journey, I just got here at the house and let's take a look at the damage, supposed damage. All right, well, that went very well. I didn't want to record her, uh, you know, because you, then you got to sign like a, a model release form or something. And I didn't want to have to go through the problems with that. So I didn't record the customer, but she was very understanding. And the, the damage to me, it, I didn't see any patterns of a weed eater or or anything where it, it looked like the weed eater had caused or, or anything we did it just strictly looked environmental like the uh, stain that she used is a painting kind of stain and it chips away very easily if water gets in the wood and you make uh, any kind of movement to it humidity anything like that is gonna cause the paint to chip on, on the corners there so everything went well and I'm glad that our crew is paying attention and they didn't cause the problems. So that's how I deal with a damage uh, accusation. Or if a customer thinks that we caused something, I definitely go look at it, no problem. 
just want to make sure that I can coach the crews better if they did do something wrong and get it fixed for the customer or kind of go through the process of what may have caused such damage and make sure the customer is happy at the end. That's the most important thing.